right welcome back you're watching marshall prime and news and much appreciation for staying with us my name is rida karing chabet now let's shift focus to our education segment by millicent makoha <laughs> Sinaga Girls High School located in Yala Aba near Luanda Town, game constituency in Siaya County, is the most performing public school in Nyanza region. I'm called uh, Pauline uh, Tieno Kowidi. I came to Sinaga Girls in 2014 when the students' population was 440. Um, up to date, the population has increased to 900. The school has moved from uh, a sub-county school, uh, a county school, to extra county school in 2019. The school is known as the powerhouse in drama festival, basketball and hockey, leading the great giants in the sport field. Um, the school has been doing very, very well in co-curriculum, even before I came. Uh, in 2012, they went up to national with the drama, and uh, up to date, they have been going up to provincial, regional, uh, until Corona came so that we currently are doing things internally, particularly talent show, where they are doing very well. But they equally do well in uh, games like volleyball, netball, basketball, hockey, and athletics. A few of our students have gone for cross country up to national in the near past. Madam Pauline has lauded high level of discipline displayed by the girls. The school has been very, very disciplined uh, since I came, uh, particularly because of the support of the board and the church. Sinaga Girls High School has an energetic teaching staff that is ready to equip the students with knowledge and skills in all areas of learning as it was directed by the Ministry of Education. Uh, we have currently a total of about 38 uh, teachers. I found when they were about 24. They are now 38 in number. But our correct uh, staffing position should be 52 because the school has moved from two stream, uh, three stream to six stream officially. The school principal has called on the parents to enroll more students in this school. We, I want to confirm to the parents that this is, this is one of the best schools in CI County as a whole and uh, the facilities of our school are of very good standards and uh, we are willing to accommodate students from all over because now we are an extra county school and with that widening of curriculum we are sure uh, the students will uh, get where to fit and they are going to do better than they have been doing in the past. Despite the school being on upward trend, the school principal has called on the well-wishers to help the school. From the government and the well-wishers, we still need facilities, especially the dormitories. The dormitory is becoming more congested because the, the, in about uh, four years, the population has doubled and uh, we've not constructed a new dome. We've started a dome complex that is going to take about 70 million and uh, we are just at the 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 walling stage uh, we still need a lot of money to complete that dome and we that dome is going to carry uh, about 70 
uh, 700 students and is going to solve the problem of accommodation for quite some time. So if we can get people who can uh, help us, support us financially to complete that dormitory, our problem shall have been uh, sorted out. Uh, classes also, we are still in shortage, especially for optional subjects. Apart from academics, the school also runs dairy farming, poultry farming and crop farming. My name is uh, Mr. Elena Domondi, an agriculture, uh, agriculture teacher for Sinaga Girls. Uh, here we are, we are at the farm and uh, currently we are undertaking a, a poultry project, uh, KCSE 2022. Uh, now we thought of uh, poultry farming because uh, uh, it is one of the white meat that uh, majority uh, on western uh, count, uh, counties normally uh, they take uh, white meat in large scale so when we do it like this uh, we are able to get uh, more income and furthermore uh, poultry is the widest uh, topic or area being covered in form one up to form four uh, containing majority uh, of uh, marks now within us we have a uh, uh, structure poultry structure that uh, was constructed by our able senior uh, principal, Madam Pauline Nguka uh, Kowidi. Now, she has been a very supportive member and a patron over the same, looking into that uh, these particular projects are able to succeed in one way or the other. So the chicks that we have in are called Kroila F1. Uh, majorly, they are brown in color, and they are in their fifth week old. They are fifth week old. And uh, the number of birds that we have within our our structure, there are 500 birds in number. For my education segment, Maisha Television, I'm Millicent Makoha.